everyone, this is Brittany, and I'm just making a quick video to inform everyone on like the products that I use in my hair, because everyone's constantly asking me what I put in my hair, because it's usually normally like really, really healthy and shiny. I need a perm right now, so that's why I have it like this, so ignore that, even though I think it still looks okay. Um, so how I start off doing my hair, I wash my hair at least once a week. I, I mean, hey, if you don't want to wash your hair that much, that's your problem, because people have told me you wash your hair too much, but your hair gets dirty, it's the summer, and you should wash your hair once a week. Two times a week is even acceptable. There's no need to do it every day, though. So, once a week, I, um, start off on the shower with shampooing my hair, of course. I shampoo it about, um, three times, because it's really thick, so I need to get all of it very clean, of course, and that takes a lot. And then I put the conditioner in, and I try and leave my conditioner in for about five minutes, no less than that. Sometimes a little longer, because like the longer you leave it in, you'll feel that it's like, you know, really silky and whatnot. And when I'm rinsing the conditioner out, I use this size comb, and I comb through, you start at the ends of course, and work your way up to get the, any knots that you have out without ripping them out of your hair. You gently work them. That's why you do it while the conditioner is in your hair. Because just plain water, your hair tends to feel a little bit like tougher and more tangled. The conditioner helps to soften it up. So I do that, rinse it out, come out of the shower. I don't twist my hair up with my towel. I wring it out gently, and then I wrap the towel around it just to keep the water from dripping all over the floor. But don't rub your hair with the towel, you're just going to tangle it, break it. It's very delicate when it's wet. All your cuticles are open, so don't do that. Then, um, I usually set my hair with rollers, and I use a lot of body setting lotion. It's about $8.99 plus tax at your local beauty store. It's just blue stuff. I need a new one. And, um, you mix it with water, so I had a spray bottle. They sell this everywhere every state I've seen them so you put about uh let's see if I was mixing it I'd go up to like the 150 mark with like the the setting lotion maybe and fill it the rest of the way with water maybe the darker you have it the stiffer your hold is the lighter the softer your hold is but you want it like in between you want it slightly hard because you're going to put oils in your hair it's going to loosen it up so you don't want it too soft otherwise your style doesn't last and that's the whole point of it you know and when you're styling, that's when you use this comb, the rat tail comb, fine tooth comb, when you're styling, and you don't comb through large chunks of your hair with this. You know, you take it slow, starting at the end, and you're parting with the tail. That's why this one is really good. It's easier to part with than, say, trying to use this. When your hair is dry, you can part with this, but this is still easier, you know. So when I set my hair, my three main roller sizes are... This one, mainly for, like, the crown, like, going back here. I hope you can see that. I need a stand for my camera. So these for, like, the longer pieces. They're bigger. I'm not sure how big this is. Probably one and a half inches or so. This one I use for, like, around the hairline. This is probably a one-inch roller, so around the edges and stuff. And for, um, I use this for my bang, because you don't want your bang too tightly curled if you have one. I just cut mine. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted it back. Um, for the back, I have short hairs in the back for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with my hair at the moment, since I keep it really healthy, but they tend to be shorter. I guess it's just my natural stuff. So I use these really small rollers. I guess these are half an inch. And if you have short hair, you're going to use these and these instead. I also... When I want my hair to get done faster, like when I want it to dry faster, because I'm under the dryer for like two hours normally. So sometimes I'll use these rollers. These are two and a half inches, but they don't come with the cover for some reason. So I use these long pins to hold them in. They're called duckbill pins. They're really long, so they get through the whole thing instead of using the little tiny ones. And the curve makes it a little easier too when you're sliding it in. And I also use these three inch rollers for the crown of my head of course. When you use these rollers you get a lot of volume. I mean with any rollers that you do, but with the, the bigger you use the rollers, like as much as you can stretch your hair out around them, you get more volume. And when you use really big rollers, depending on your hair length, your hair will come out straighter 
with the curl at the end, of course, and the volume, but it's not as tightly curled where you have to, like, wrap it down real tight. So I use those. And you keep spraying with the scented lotion as your hair starts to dry because it helps it to dry faster, so you'll have to keep re-wetting your hair. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, before you actually put the rollers in, if your hair is breaking, or if you just want to keep it from breaking, keep it strong, I use this Icy Hair Polisher. It's an olive leave-in nutritional hair and scalp treatment. You put a good bit in while your hair is wet and get it through everything. And also, it makes your hair really silky, too. It makes my hair feel really strong, so you should use it. It's really good. It's good for hair damage by chemicals and heat appliances. I just, just, yeah, I just started using it, and it's really, really good. Now, when my hair is done, done drying and all that stuff, then you're on to your next step. You, um, any grease that you have, if you're going to use grease, not too much, of course, or one of these serums. This one is the Heat Protector and Straightening Serum from IC. It's a hair polisher. There's also one in a green bottle that's not a heat protector, but it still makes your hair shiny. And the one in the blue bottle is, like, for people who color their hair, really. But you can use any of them. But if you use one to specify what you're going for, of course, you'll have the better results. I use the Heat Protector Straightening Serum because it helps to straighten your hair, as it said. It works best with heat. So even if I'm not flat ironing my hair or blowing it out, which is what this is really, really good for, because it really protects your hair, when I'm wrapping it and you're going to bed, the natural heat from having your hair tied down like that will activate it and your hair comes down nice and straight and shiny the next day. So I put some in. You put it mainly in the roots, not too much, of course. And I comb through with this size comb very gently and slowly because your hair is you know, a delicate thing, like you don't need to rip it out, and I also brush at the roots, this brush is not too hard, any brush, but try and get one with the bristles like this, it could be soft if you want, don't get a very hard brush, those are not for our hair types, and you brush the roots, you're just stimulating the roots, you're not really brushing the hair, because when you stimulate your roots, it helps, it promotes hair growth, I, you know, I guess they like it, like when you scratch a dog's belly, it feels good. And then I wrap my hair with, uh, let me take one out for my hair, these hairpins from Goody, the clip ones, and they have these little rubber balls at the end, I don't know if you can really see it, I don't know if you can see this too great, because I get like goldish brown ones to match my hair color for when I'm styling, and the rubber tips are very important, they slide into your hair much easier, so that's why you want to use them. Once you see like the rubber tip is peeling off or breaking and it's off and you put it in and you feel that it's pulling your hair, stop using it. Throw that one pin out. I mean, it's like a dollar for like a pack of 20. You know, it's not that expensive. So get rid of it because it's just going to keep ripping out your hair. You're going to get split ends. You know, you're going to lose hair for nothing. Make sure it has to tip. Um, so you wrap up your hair with the serum, of course. You apply more if you feel that you need to keep wrapping. It doesn't take many pins to wrap your hair. I have a lot of hair, and the other day I wrapped my hair with about seven pins, just because I was too lazy to look for the rest of them. You know, you don't need much. Um, I think that's about it for my, for my normal hairstyling. Yeah, that's what I do. I usually, I tend to do my hair at night, so I'm usually under the dryer until like two in the morning, and so I get to sleep on it, so my hair comes out awesomely straight by the next day with a little flip in the end because I hate stick straight hair. That's for Asians, in my opinion, you know? So, um, try and do your hair when you're not busy. Because if you're busy, you're going to rush and you're going to ruin your hair. You're going to comb through it too fast. You're going to flat iron. You're going to blow it out. Do your hair when you have time so you can wrap it up and put your head tie on. That's the other important thing. Always sleep with a head tie. Um, where did I put mine? I took it off this morning, and I think I left it upstairs. Yeah, use a silk one, satin, anything that's soft. Don't use cotton. I mean, cotton's okay, but it might pull your hair out. Silk satin is the best. It slips over your head. If you don't want to do a head tie, because like me, I sleep really well, and my head tie comes off if I don't tie it properly, you can get satin pillowcases. Those work well, too, as long as you know you're going to stay on the pillow. So you can use that, too. 